video, we're going to talk about how to renest a baby squirrel if you come across one in need. Baby squirrels will do the best with their mother, and sometimes we don't need to intervene. Gray squirrels nest twice a year, so you're most likely to find them in early spring or in late summer. But when you find a squirrel on the ground, not always is it orphaned. Sometimes it just needs some help getting back into a nest so that the mother can retrieve it and keep it away from predators. If the baby squirrel has its eyes open and has a substantial amount of fur, it might be at that stage where it could climb. So you wanna have it up against a tree, give it some availability to climb up the tree. If it is not, then that is the point where you wanna try re-nesting. You should take the squirrel to the closest permitted wildlife rehabilitator if the squirrel is bleeding, has an open wound or broken bone, has been in a dog or cat's mouth, covered in fly eggs, cold, wet, or crying nonstop. If the squirrel is uninjured, you still wanna check if the squirrel actually needs help. Baby's eyes open at four weeks of age, and the young are often starting to explore outside the nest at six weeks of age. If the squirrel is 10 weeks old, the squirrel is weaned and ready to be on their own. If it's not showing any of these signs, then chances are it's an infant and it does need our assistance. So what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna find something sturdy, something plastic, something like this, that you can put holes into the bottom so that it stays um, solid if any kind of weather happens like rain and it can come through the bottom. You wanna put some kind of soft fabric inside and you'll wanna have a heat source. This can either be a warmed up water bottle, or just a regular plastic water bottle put in the microwave for 30 seconds and you can put that inside of there. Or you can use a rice sock which is just a sock that has either rice or bird seed put inside of it that you can also put into the microwave for about 30 seconds and you can put that inside there as well. With both of these options, you wanna make sure to have some kind of coverage over them so that it's not direct heat onto that baby. And once everything is all set up and good to go, using your gloved hands, you'll pick up the baby squirrel gently and you'll put it right inside of that makeshift nest. And from there, you'll want to secure it into the tree. You can either put it into the tree or you can use rope or bungee cord to secure it better into the tree if necessary. You'll wanna leave it in there for about two to four hours. If the baby has not been retrieved within that time frame, then you wanna bring it inside and get in contact with a permitted rehabilitator. During that waiting time, you wanna make sure to stay quite a distance away because the mother will not come back to retrieve if she does not think it's safe. After about two to four hours, if you go back and check and see that the infant has been retrieved, congrats, it has been successful. If the baby is still there, and maybe it has its eyes open, you can wait an additional hour to see if possibly the mom will come back, but if not, you wanna bring it inside and then immediately call a wildlife rehabilitator. It's important to remember that in the state of Virginia, it is illegal to rehabilitate wildlife without the proper permits. Wildlife rehabbers specially formulate formulas that are appropriate for their digestive tracts that gives them a better outcome. So it's always important to call a wildlife rehabilitation center or rehabber as soon as you can. Thank you for your continued support and action in protecting wildlife. Come on guys, get it together. There we go, okay. Thanks for wanting to do the best thing Come on, man, we're gonna miss the golden hour.